What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show. Where we discuss everything going on here in our country, in Washington, D.C., and everything you need to know about on a daily basis, including money, investing, the stock markets, the fourth stimulus package update, stimulus check update, and everything going on here in our country. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below right now. It's completely free to do so. And uh, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos that come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember those times so you don't miss out on any new videos. And also make sure to hit the like button for us down below. You guys are amazing. We got a lot to talk about here, so let's jump right in. Senators are calling for a gas tax suspension to lower gas prices nationwide. This would reduce the price of gas in all states here nationwide. And if this is done, if this can be done, uh, this would apply immediate relief at the gas pump. And uh, this could be a major, major um, relief here for everybody that buys gas. Check this out. Some Democratic senators on Wednesday called for suspending the federal gas tax for the remainder of the year to help consumers struggling with rising fuel prices. The legislation from Senator Mark Kelly of Arizona and Maggie Hassan of New Hampshire could prove popular during an election year in which the average price of gas nationally, according to AAA, exceeds about $3.45 a gallon. Also, uh, the price of a barrel of oil worldwide just uh, recently broke $90 a barrel, not just here in the U.S., but worldwide. So uh, this could provide an immediate relief here on the price of gas and could go higher during the peak driving season for the summer. Four other Democrats' senators quickly signed on as co-sponsors. Still, the bill faces an uphill fight to become law. Kelly said gas prices are putting a strain on families that need to fill up the tank to get to work and school. The federal gas tax has, re has remained at 18.4 cents per gallon since 1993. The money goes into a trust fund that helps pay for highway construction projects and public transit. This bill would require the Treasury Department to transfer general funds into the trust fund to make up for the lost gas tax revenue and keep the trust fund solvent, likely requiring additional borrowing. Quote, we need to continue to think creatively about how we can find new ways to bring down costs. And this bill would do exactly that, make a tangible difference for workers and families, Hassan said. The bill would also require the Treasury Department to monitor whether oil and gas companies are passing along the savings to consumers and encourage the department's secretary to take enforcement action to ensure they do. We also have 10 different states individually that are considering removing their own state gas tax to help out their residents. Here are the states that are doing it. California. California has a state surplus of $45 billion dollars. And the state has uh, the highest gas tax in the nation, I believe, uh, which is 51.1 cents per gallon and uh, 38.9 cents per gallon on diesel. That's part of the reason why Florida or California, sorry, typically has the highest gas in the nation, along with maybe Hawaii. Hawaii is because, you know, they have to ship the gas overseas, which is understandable. But uh, Governor Newsom says we're going to backfill in terms of the tax itself to transportation projects so there's no direct impact to investments. The governor's office says a pause is expected to decrease fuel tax revenues by $523 million in 2022 and 2023 because they're supposed to have a tax increase take effects on July 1st. Governor's plan is to delay the adjustment for a minimum of at least one year. The budget proposal could extend the tax freeze for two years should economic conditions warrant it. Next up is Colorado. Governor Jared Polis wants to reverse course on an upcoming fuel tax increase. In 2021, he signed into law a massive transportation funding deal that includes a new two cents per gallon fee on gas and diesel. 
tax and fee increases included on the funding deal uh, raised $5.4 billion over 10 years. That's a lot of money. The increases are scheduled to take effect on July 1st. Annual penny increases to the fee on gas and diesel are set to follow each year through 2028. He says it's time to finally fix our damn roads, which really the physical infrastructure bill will provide money to do that. Fast forward to the beginning of this year, he now says now is not the time. Again, they'll get the money from the physical infrastructure bill. What I think we can now agree on now is now now is not the time to raise price at the pump. Let's show people relief at the pump. Again, they'll get the money from the physical infrastructure bill. So uh, the state legislature must approve this plan. Florida, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, a Republican, is pursuing a gas tax holiday that is touted to provide more than $1 billion in tax relief. These, uh, these gas tax uh, reliefs or uh, suspensions on the gas tax, it costs a lot of money. I mean, a billion dollars here and there, that's, that's a lot of money. So uh, don't, don't, take these, don't take these things lightly. He said the relief is necessary to help offset rising fuel prices. The governor said inflationary pressures from bad federal policies have led to higher prices at the pump. He said the state needs to step up and provide relief for their citizens. I'm proposing a $1 billion gas holiday to help reduce prices at the pump. And the tax holiday would begin on Jan July 1st if they can get it passed. House and Senate budget plans rec recently released, though, do not include his proposal. Illinois, during his state of address, Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker laid out his plan for the upcoming budget. One component is to freeze the state's gas tax rate so there won't be more taxes. Specifically, the 39.2 cent rate for gas would be frozen for one year. That's a, that's a pretty high, high one right there. In 2019, a $45 billion capital plan, including a provision tying the state's gas and diesel rates to inflation. Changes can be made each July. Pritzker said the efficiency at the Illinois Department of Transportation will allow the agency to complete road projects on time and budget without relying on additional gas revenue. Multiple bills introduced at the state house would provide relief at the pump, like the bill HB 4977 would cut the gas tax all the way down to 19 cents per gallon and the inflationary change would be frozen. The tax on diesel fuel would not be frozen. Instead, the 46.7 cent diesel exercise tax would be increased to 49.2 cents. That's a lot. And remember that these uh, these prices on diesel and stuff, uh, they also affect your your goods, like your food and you know everything you buy from the store as well. When truckers have to pay and, and, and companies have to pay this for to ship their goods, they just tack it on to the price of you know, the goods you're paying. So keep that in mind as well. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine is urging state lawmakers to not pursue lowering the state's fuel tax rates. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. He's urging state lawmakers to not pursue lowering the state's fuel tax rates. Just to make sure I'm reading that correctly. But one Ohio Senate bill would provide relief for truckers and motorists from a recent increase in fuel tax rates. Three years ago, the Ohio legislature approved a transportation budget deal that included raising the 28 cent fuel tax rate to 38.5 cents for gas from 28 cents to 47 cents for diesel. That's a big hike. It's a big hike. The rate reductions would begin no later than July 1st. The tax rate would remain unchanged for five years if they were able to get this bill for rate reductions in Ohio. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine said last month any plan to lower fuel tax rates would be, quote, a mistake. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Ohio, so yeah. Virginia, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin has called for pressing the pause button on fuel tax rate increases. And there's a bill, there's a bill in the House that would lower taxes uh, by a nickel from 26.2 cents to 21 cents. And the diesel rate would go from 27 to 20 cents 
that seems to be a low, a low tax rate already in Virginia. In Maryland, bills in both chamber of the Maryland General Assembly, Assembly would prevent automatic adjustments in the state's fuel rates. Maryland law authorizes fuel rates to be adjusted each July based on the consumer price index. Since July 2021, the gas tax has been set at 36.1 cents and the diesel rate at 36.85 cents. A Maryland delegate, Matt Morgan, said, told the House Ways and Means Committee that increasing fuel prices makes the change necessary. Our constituents are having an enormous increase for everything from the price of gas to food and grocery shelves. At this time, it would be helpful to pass tax relief onto consumers, the ones who need it the most. The House Ways and Means Committee is scheduled to discuss a separate bill on February 16th to provide a tax holiday for gas and diesel purchases that would trim the gas and diesel rate by 15 cents for six months starting on July 1st. In Missouri, multiple Missouri legislators want to reverse course on a recent fuel increase. A 2021 law raises the 17 cent fuel tax rate by 12.5 cents over five years. Since October 1st, the state is collecting 19.5 cents per gallon on fuel purchases. The tax rate will climb to 29.5 cents by July 1st, 2025. The main point of contention for the increase is whether legislators want to work around the Hancock Amendment to the Missouri Constitution. The amendment mandates that any proposed tax rate increase above the certain amount must go before voters. So they don't want to go before voters. Whenever they want to do that, you know that something is uh, something's a little sneaky. Yeah. And they want to increase taxes, but not put it before voters. In Tennessee, a Tennessee House bill would provide truck drivers and others fueling in the state some relief at the pump. Representative Bruce Griffey, a Republican, is behind a bill to return the tax rates to where they were prior to 2017 law that raised the gas tax by six cents and increased the diesel rate by 10 cents. Remember, if they lower diesel, it also helps lower the price of your goods. Okay. Instead of relying on additional fuel tax revenue to fund transportation and infrastructure projects, we would reroute funds from some of the state's budget surplus to roads and bridges. And remember, roads and bridges are getting money from the physical infrastructure bill as well. In fiscal year 2021, Tennessee collected $3.1 billion more in taxes than the legislature budgeted for. So Tennessee, send out a stimulus check to your residents. If you have billions of dollars extra in money, send out a stimulus check. Washington, Washington state lawmaker wants to provide a year-long reprieve from state fuel taxes. They've introduced a bill to suspend the 49.4 cent fuel rate through the end of the year. That's a high amount there. To make up for the lost revenue, they would use funds from the state's $8 billion surplus. Washington State, send out a stimulus check. You got $8 billion in surplus. Send it out. Quote, the state has so much money right now that the legislature probably would have trouble spending it all. Yeah, sounds like to me you got to send out a stimulus check, right? Meanwhile, the White House says all options are on the table to address high oil prices, and they'll be doing everything they can here in the near future. So I'll keep you up to date here. And remember that all these states literally got over a billion dollars from the third stimulus check package, okay? They have to spend that money in certain ways. They can't just spend that money on whatever they want. They have to spend it on certain... Um, things, okay, like stimulus checks, rent assistance, mortgage assistance, utility assistance, okay. Um, there's certain ways, and most states only got half the money, and then they have to show to the federal government how they spent the money, how they gave back to their communities and stuff, how they gave back to their residents, okay. And then they get the other half of the money, okay. Also, as these states took in a lot of money here over the last year or two, as you, as I just read you kind of some of those steps, so a lot of these states are literally sitting on billions and billions of dollars. California is sitting on something like $50 billion, okay? Um, I just went over a recent video how uh, one of their California lawmakers says that they could send out an $1,100 stimulus check 
this year in 2022. So remember that last year they sent out $600 stimulus checks and then per person, and then they sent out an additional $500 for people with children for a total of $1,100. I know that $1,100 might sound like it's the same amount, but they're saying now that this year it's $1,100 or $1,125 could be, $1,125 could be the amount sent out for this year for everybody. That's how much money they potentially have. Okay, I just did a recent video on that. Uh, I'll link you to that here at the end of this video if you're from California because California has the most amount of people, like 27 million people got stimulus checks last year. So for example, some of these other states that have recently sent out stimulus checks, um, there's sometimes like 1 million people that get a stimulus check in some of those states. This is 27 million people. Okay, so it's a lot of people. But a lot of these other states, like I just mentioned, some of those states have like, five billion eight billion dollars and these other states there are multiple different states that are considering or already have announced sending out stimulus checks i just did a recent video on that and remember if some of these states are sending out five hundred dollars stimulus checks thousand dollar stimulus checks eight hundred dollar stimulus checks some of these states are sending out stimulus checks that are as much money or somewhere around about um as much money as the federal government even if it's not, even if it's, it's several hundred dollars, it's every every little bit counts, right? Um, because if you get a stimulus check from the state and then you get a tax refund or then and you get a stimulus check from, again, it doesn't really matter where the money comes from. Uh, any money that you can get in your pocket is better than no money in your pocket, right? It's better than nothing, right? So um, feel free to email, call, and tweet your state legislatures. Again, when states are saying things like, we have all this money and we don't know what to do with it. What? Give it back to your residents, right? Some states, uh, like California, actually have laws. Uh, I don't know exactly what states because I'd have to read through like the constitution of each state, right? <laughs> like, like I got time for that, right? Good luck with that, right? Even like finding the state's constitutions and reading through that would be absolute night you'd have to be a scholar to even read through this if you ever had to read through uh bylaws and constitutions and some of this like like even reading through some of these like stimulus bills you got to basically be like a lawyer like a like a law scholar it's just, some of these pages just if you've ever had to read it it's like legal jargon right it's <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare i'll tell you it's, a, it's an absolute nightmare so you you want to fall asleep by like page five right it's like <sighs> Who wrote this, Nancy Pelosi? <sighs> and, and it's like you can picture Mitch McConnell falling. It's like, <sighs> like you can picture like like they're like because remember the the Democrats passed the third stimulus check package on their own, and AOC was complaining that they didn't get to read through it. I'm like AOC, you can't read through this, man. How are you gonna read through 1,800 pages of this? Like, how could you possibly? That's one of those things where you like you send your aides, you, you know, the, uh, the you, you know your aides that are like you know they're they're working. There's an intern. You like you send your interns to go read through that. Like, hey, oh, you're working here six months and you're an intern. Oh yeah, here's your job for for the next week. Go read through that uh, right now. This is your. Don't come back until you're done reading this, right? And the funny thing is they give them like they give them like two hours to read through this. Like, how are you gonna read through eighteen hundred pages of legal jargon in like two hours? It's like it's a nightmare, right? It's like the worst reading you could ever it's not like eighteen hundred pages of like reading like a really cool story, like I don't know, whatever you're into, like Game of Thrones or you know, something really cool, right? Um, if you've ever watched Game of Thrones, uh the the movies they were really, really cool. Like such, such a cool, and you know, the, then the ending was kind of like, ah, oh, what happened? Yeah, such a, such a craze. But yeah, I guess that's how Game of Thrones. If you've ever watched Game of Thrones, you, you kind of, you know, what we're talking about here, right? It's just, it just a nine years. I mean, it was literally nine seasons that we watched it. Um, but it's not like reading something cool where you're like you're looking forward to what's gonna happen next. It's like eighteen hundred pages of like. <laughs> You're, you're falling asleep drooling and you're like oh my god is this over yet you know it's just like can you imagine reading through that you know it's just an absolute nightmare
nightmare. You know, luckily when I've read through some of those uh, st stimulus bills, like I can just go edit find <laughs> and just like search for numbers and so like things I'm looking for, like words and stuff like, all right, I'm looking for a $1,400 stimulus check, edit find $1,400. All right, there it is. <laughs> or I can search for stuff like that because ain't nobody got time to be reading through 1800 pages. Let's be honest. Um, absolute just the worst ever. Like you just can't even do it. Let me know in the comments here if anybody here has read through the entire stimulus bills. Anybody? 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 If you've read through that, you deserve a medal. You deserve a like here. I'm giving you a like right here. Absolutely just who can read through that? It's just, it's just a nightmare. But uh, yeah, I don't blame some of these lawmakers. And, and remember that, remember that uh, who was it? Was it Republican Senator Ron Johnson uh, made them read it on the Senate floor to delay it? And it took like hours and hours and hours. They made uh, some poor aide read it. God, I feel bad for whoever had to read that. Yeah, it was just like probably everybody just exited the building. And they're like, all right, come back, uh, you know, six hours from now. And, uh, you know, nobody even stayed, you know, and then they all came back when the reading was done. Like, you know, did anybody even stay there and like listen to what this poor guy was <laughs> was reading? Yeah, so uh, I know can't make this stuff up. Right. But uh, nonetheless, that, that was the delay. But, uh, yeah, I'll keep you up to date here with everything going on here in our country that you need to know about. Um, but uh, hopefully we see some some lowering gas prices because it's you got to remember the gas prices are going up all up around the world. It's, it's just I know that um, it's you know, it's not just here in the U.S. When you look at the price of oil, it, it's going up across the whole world. So um, that's why I always try to remind everybody here about what's going on in the whole world here. Uh, you know, the pandemic's going on in the whole world, oil going up in the whole world. It's it's a global economy nowadays. So, um, you know, everything is, is kind of tied. You know, shipping going on across the whole world. Shipping rates go up. When shipping from China goes up, guess what happens to our prices here? And that's why, you know, they're trying to pass more bills that are made in the USA, try to bring manufacturing jobs home here in the U.S., try to bring more jobs here in the U.S., um, because then you don't have to ship them here. And then you create more jobs here. It, it, it's a whole cycle. The more that you can do here in the U.S., the more competitive we can be. Um, all of that kind of goes hand in hand. But it's it's not just a hey, let's let's just do it. It's it's a whole process, right? Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'll keep you up to date here with everything going on here in our country. Make sure to subscribe down below. New videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Subscribing is completely free. If you haven't subscribed yet, there's, I don't know why, there's literally no reason to. Uh, so click subscribe down below right now and help us reach 400,000 subscribers. We're literally almost there. We're almost at 399,000. Um, I'll keep you up to date here with everything. So click here to watch our newest video next. Click this top video to see about California's $1,100 stimulus checks that are going to be potentially coming out this year. And click this bottom video here to see all the other states that have announced stimulus checks for 2022. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.